Welcome back to Kosi Nation Fan TV. If you're new here, this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs Football Club. I start the conversation here and it continues down on the comment section. So to make sure to leave your comment, let me know what you think of the things that I'll be talking about. I want us to talk about four things really. And the first one is Kick and Dolly. Uh, so in the first two games, I know I'm not trying to be too much and be dramatic and say, oh, Dolly's not at it. But there's been a thing going around with our fans. Some of them think Utoli uh, getting the armband has actually put him under pressure and it's probably affecting his performance. And we know Uti against Marasbeck United, he did score a goal, but he just doesn't look himself. The finish was good, don't get me wrong, but with the other things that he does around him, like misplaced passes, what decision making when he has to pick a pass maybe out wide to Solomon's or has to Yabonji Begunama mistakes that you are not used to totally. And I was wondering, Uguti, could it be Uguti if banding and Bell is putting him under pressure? Because it happens with some players, Uguti, when there's too much responsibility placed on them, then they fail to shine. And if they're just players, then they can deliver. Uh, then maybe that's something that might be looked into. But again, it's just been two games. So I will not jump into conclusion, but you guys can let me know what you think about that. Do you think Ibandi is actually putting Utoli under some unnecessary pressure? And if Kuguti it is, I'm saying if Kuguti it is, who is then the next candidate to kind of take over from him and take that pressure off? Because after all, Utoli is our star player, and if your star player is under pressure, Ibandi then the, the the performance of the team will be affected and we don't want that because yeah imagine if Udol was just on fire the entire season without the pressure yeah band you know but it's just that they are rusty they haven't played i mean six six weeks it's, it's a long time and i think another thing that i want to talk about that i didn't get a chance to talk about yesterday is one the fact that uzwan is upfront about the competition and as much as some people still think Uzwan has favorites, um, I think I like the fact that he just came out and said, Uplom knows Uguti didn't perform well on Saturday. And because of that, we are playing with Solomons. You know, and secondly, why did we bring in Oma Klo? We brought in Oma Klo because we want someone who's a dictated tempo game, who's someone who's going to help us control the game. So why is Cole out? Because Cole can't do that. So basically, Zwan is up front and we can see the reasons that he gives for certain things. And any novel that we will still hear people talk about, which is also something that is a, a what is it? A pain point game. Uguti, I think Ukuna should be playing uh, because of the experience and the other things that he would sort out when it comes to Sbonile communication between our defenders yesterday improved. But the thing is, you still need more leadership, you know, a ground in, in the team that we have because we have a very young squad and a lot of new players. So there are a lot of glitches that will still okay. But then again, it's justifiable why he's playing with Vuma over Kone because of the whole point of we are trying to rebuild. So we cannot then say, ah, oh, we are rebuilding and yet be using Kone. Maybe that's his reason. That's his reasoning was one. I don't know. But I'm just saying, Wuti, Overall, I'm trying to say Uti, Uzwan seems to be able to justify the the selection of his players. It just It doesn't just select him because we are Mtanda, because Uplom is one of the players that when you think of Uzwan, you think Uzwan might, is, Uplom is untroppable. I mean, we product Kazwan and he's been playing for Uzwan, played most minutes last season, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But it's good to see Uti Agekumuntu and that's good because that means it keeps everyone on their toes and yeah another person that I, I, I've been talking about without noticing Guti it's all actually August isn't Abagam Umdu this season as far as I know he's doing his metric so basically Vele Kusele Kusele how many weeks Kusele 80 days before Umetre Kupala my exams I was in a teacher's meeting this morning, so I had that. So 80 days before my exams, and we'll see inclusion come to English. But his inclusion on the team right now, 
could be because Velex will be able to get the exam to go to the World Cup. And by the time World Cup is ready, the SL in the results, then he can rejoin the full the the the, the senior team. So it got me wondering, Uguti, is it possible Uguti Umtu has not uh, a striker has not been rushed to be signed because of the fact that Ozwani Bayaz would okay Umtu Vele. We will not have him maybe for the next two months, but for the rest of the season. And glow two months, well, in any case, so bring in a ball. And after that, he would be back. So maybe they think, you know, maybe we don't need a striker. I am just saying because they are taking their own time. Because another thing that Zwane did say was talking about Tuguti. With strikers, yes, we want a specific striker. But another thing he did talk about Tuguti. We might want to develop our own strikers, you understand? So by him saying that, then it points towards Umtu, it points towards, uh, wow, when it is Utu, but yes. So it points towards Indwana Z to Lezis Nazuguti. We might develop our own players through Lezis Indwana. So we'll see what happens because Angage is one the only thing I've heard or seen or read in the Bagapi Meminyama talking about the Chiefs, the unprofessional, blah, blah, blah. Because it's understandable. Who should go to team of illegal and say, "Ah, oh, we're looking for a better option. If we don't find a better option, we'll come back for you." I wouldn't like that. So I don't think it's fair to him as well. So, yeah. Another thing that I want to talk about is the injuries. We saw Ungezana going off injured. We saw Dupri being injured as well. We saw Matlo with the knee heavily strapped and Wang Tusa loco. And the question I want to pose to you would say which player do you think will be a bigger loss uh, for Saturday's game if in case like we, we, we lose one, you know. I know Guti Ungezana Oh sorry for the noise. I know Guti Ungezana, some of you then say but I fell as for not over here. But having gained momentum over the past two games, I think it would be a big loss. But also to pre coming out from the left, cutting in and the momentum he got by sco- from scoring a goal, that's huge. But when it comes to Maclo against the Sundowns, I think Vele will need to play. Ah, clack, clack, clack. I won't talk about that. I'll talk about that on tomorrow's video when I will be previewing the match between the Chiefs and the Sundowns. But think, guys, let me know what you think about Dolly's captaincy, what you think about Azwani's, uh, like, just expressing it when it's on your balance, I'll go to why select players and what um why he doesn't select other players and also in the bagam do uh just let me know down in the comment section and also guys please remember to vote for some game team it's free if you have facebook i will comment and pin the comment on the comment section so please please vote i will see you tomorrow and until such time as that remember equals i'll pay you more